So I've been making a lot of videos about snare drums, but uh, y'all don't seem to be complaining, so let's make another one. Also, there's a tornado warning right now, so if you hear some rain, then it's just a tornado passing by. I'm also just now realizing I've been living here for like a year now, but these blinds are not the same color. I had no idea. So this shell is from Drum Factory Direct. It was a blemished item. Apparently it was in a flood, which is why it's probably tornadoing right now. I'm just now realizing that. But as far as the damage goes, you can probably see that little square of something right there. And really that's all that's wrong with it. So this is a nickel plated brass shell. It's black nickel if you couldn't tell. Um, it's 14 by five I think. And as you can see, it's pre-drilled, at least the lugs are. So all I need to do is drill some holes for the air vent, the throw off and butt plate, put it together and I'll be done. So that is the shell. And then I have two 14 inch eight lug rims. They're just regular old uh, triple flanged. And then over in the studio, I have everything else that we need. So I got the lugs. These are two and three sixteenths inch uh, tube lugs. I actually bought these for the Acrylite just to uh, change it up a bit. But these are the same size, so they'll go onto this snare. Got a bag of tension rods with uh, some washers. Got an air vent, a butt plate, and then a throw off. This is actually the same one that I put on uh, my first Acrylite. Somewhere in here, I have the mounting screws, I think right here. And then I also bought new snares for it, but I'm pretty sure I took them and put them on that other Acrylite that I just got, which is on my kit right now. So other than the snares, I think I have everything, so let's put this thing together. So just like any other drum, it all starts with the layout. This is an easy one since there's only five holes I need to drill. The shell already has snare beds on it, which you can see here. So I made sure like 9,000 times that I laid out the throw off and the butt plate on the right side before I drilled anything. Happy? So lesson learned when using a step bit on a shell like this, uh, you can see it kind of scratched up the outer uh, nickel coating, but thankfully the air vent will cover that right up. But uh, for next time, I guess I'll have to double up the tape or use some thicker tape so I can avoid that. So typically on the snare batter side of my snares, I'll put a Remote Controlled Sound X or a Controlled Sound Coated on it, but I want to go buy one and I didn't have any, so instead I'm going with the Emperor X. And the only difference is the Emperor X has two 10 mil plies, while the Controlled Sound X has one 12 mil ply. And on the snare side, as always, I have a Remo Ambassador snare side. And I'm just now realizing I want to go buy heads and snares. And I forgot to buy snares. This is white lithium grease, and I get a lot of questions about it whenever I use it, so here's a quick Q&A. Can I use it in aerosol form? Yes, it just might be a little bit more messy. I would spray it on the tension rods first, let it dry, and then assemble. 
I can't find the brand that you use, can I use this other brand instead? Yes, white lithium grease is white lithium grease. What about red or black lithium grease? I would stick with white, but if it's all you have, by all means go for it. It's better than nothing, and again, it's just more messy. How often do I apply it? Seeing as this is a fresh drum, I'll apply it now, and then honestly, I'll go years before reapplying. But depending on your environment and how often you change your heads, you might want to apply it more often. Just use your best judgment. So I went back and got new snares. These are Pure Sound 14 inch 20 strand wires. And getting snare straps didn't even cross my mind. Uh, Pure Sound wires usually come with string, but I have these used ones. Uh, not the prettiest, but they work. Before I play the snare, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is a site that has a massive amount of video courses on almost any subject you can think of. For example, I've watched courses on drumming, filming, Photoshop, and so much more. But just recently, I watched a course on mixing a pop rock song. Even though I don't record pop rock, there's so many different things you can learn by watching someone else mix a different genre. And again, even though I don't play this genre, there's so many little tips and tricks that I picked up. This was a pretty in-depth course, so I mainly focused on the drum mixing aspect of it, and more specifically, the kick drum, just because my kick drum has always been a little bit weak. So when I play the snare, hopefully you'll notice that my kick drum is beefed up a little bit. A premium membership is less than 10 bucks a month, and you get unlimited access to all of these classes, which are all taught by experts, so you can learn something new or just improve on your existing skills. And for all of you watching, Skillshare is giving away a free two-month trial to the first 500 people to sign up using the link in the description. So check out that link before 500 people beat you to it and go learn something.